What's up guys, Nerd Unemployed here. I'm going to show you where to find all 10 books, all 15 game cartridges, and all 5 tape cassettes in the episode 1 of Republic. Here we go. Alright, so the first thing that I wanted to show is uh, some of the pattern behavior of the Prisonerat Guards. Um, this is in the very first part of the game, the Brig Corridor 3, uh, Corridor 3 being the camera. His pattern is pretty simple. He walks into the room and walks out of the room. Uh, Jose Sanchez here has our very first game, which is Infinity Blade. Um, you just wait for his pattern, turns around. I mean, it's pretty simple. It's how you, you know, I steal anything in a stealth game. Um, but I just wanted to show clearly what his pattern was. There's a few characters I do that with. Uh, this one included. In the Prisrak locker room, we have Milton here, and he has our second game, which is Silent Rage. Silent Age. Sorry, Silent Age. Um, when he turns around, you just go for the steal. He walks in front of those lockers. Um, the only thing that was a little scary here is that um, when you reach too far, the camera will switch on you. Um, but I paused it, or did the, the camera look so I could freeze it, change cameras, and run right back down these boxes. Now, uh, you'll see skip forward a little bit ahead because what I want to do is get into the locker right there. It's a storage locker. Uh, the third one, the farthest one down. And in there, you will get your very first tape, the first Zager cassette. Uh, now moving onward from this area, you are now in the intelligence operations, and uh, Mr. White here has another game for us, this is a third game, and it is Sword and Sorcery. So I flipped over to the other side, I snuck by, but his pattern is pretty simple, he walks from the desk over to that area, you just want to wait till he turns around and grab it. Um, now beyond this point, <clears throat> just around the corner, we find uh, Chris, Shell, um, the big Shell incident, as he likes to call himself. Uh, um, he has uh, the fourth game for us, which is Star Command. Um, his pattern's a little tricky. What you can do is hide right here at these boxes, and I wanted to watch his pattern for a second, because the first time I did it, um, at certain points, if, it's, if you're uh, trying to steal from a guard from the side, you can get caught. Um, and that happened to me uh, on one of, the, one of my attempts here. So all of my attempts that you see in this video are without being caught, but there's a few close, close calls. Um, again, like I said, you can hide behind these boxes. When he's at this point, he'll turn around. That's the best time to steal and you're positioned to kind of leave without getting too far in. In the very next room next to it is the Intelligence Archives. This is where you'll find your very first book, which is uh, Zorba the Greek. You'll see I'll switch to this camera here, and it's just to the left, so it's in that back corner. Um, and that graying, when you're in that vision, is a great way to see pickups that include, you know, tasers, uh, pepper spray, books, and cassettes. Um, now we're on to the dorms lobby, and Paul Geller here has uh, our next game, which is Year Walk. Now, uh, Paul has a, a, a long walk pattern, and the first thing that you want to do is, after he does that radio check, is uh, move forward to that first hidden position. I waited a little too long, <clears throat> but what I wanted to do was walk around him behind the planter, and I made a bit of a goof right here, um, but if you go into your camera view, you could set up really quickly, basically, I set up really quickly, go back around the other way. He walks all the way to the wall here and does a radio check, which uh, takes enough time for you to kind of dive clear. in and, and steal what you need to steal. Um, now we're in the women's dorm, back at Hope's room, and uh, this is the first area of the game, so you'll be able to find the Scarlet Letter right there as a book. Now under the women's washroom, this guy here, easy to steal in the game. He is enamored by that uh, butterfly. Tycho, stop staring at the butterfly. But he also has a game for us, which is Ridiculous Fishing. Let's see what and right doing. there, I didn't get a good view of it, but there's a book there, and it's Lady Chatterley's Lover. So that's a good thing to remember, is there's also a book right there. Now next, we're uh, down the corridor a bit, and we have Mark Lewis here. Mark has Super Hexagon on him, and he's walking into a room that has our second tape. Um, now this one's a little bit longer because his pattern is a Got little her. tricky, trickier than most of the other characters. So I set up this camera here and I wanted to watch it. He goes into the room um, and then he'll come back out of the room after a couple seconds. So you got to be careful of that. Um, but what he does is, it's not at this point. Um, you'll watch his pattern. He'll wait. He'll do his radio check. Quiet tonight. And then he'll turn. And when he turns and walks, this is the best time to steal. But you got to be careful because... Um, I wanted to show this whole thing. When he comes back, he does this like double take move, where if you're not careful, um, you can you can get caught by him, and you know, and you have to use a pepper spray or a taser, uh, start over. 
Um, so he'll walk all the way back down, and then uh, you think he's going to go into the room, which is a good time to go for the steal. Um, not, the, not the opportunity I chose, but he's going to look in the room. Uh, looks back, and oh, okay, now he's going to go into the room. So you got to be a little bit careful of that. What I like to do is wait till he comes back out of the room here when he turns around. Um, that's when I go for the steal. The reason that I like this one better than when he goes into the room is because right after you steal the game, you can go into the room and get the tape. So you'll see me do that right here. Um, I go right into the room, and the tape is there behind those boxes in the corner. Um, after you get it, you'll have to wait, obviously, for his uh, uh, his uh, patrol to reset because he comes back in, but that's a good way to go. So Malcolm Grant here has our next game. And it is Star Bloom. Uh, he, this is the area with the metal detector. In case you're confused, in the dorm section uh, checkpoint. So what I like to do is turn off the metal detector. If you're quick enough early on in his pattern, um, maybe not quick enough, but if you catch him in the pattern where it is now, this is a good time to steal. Um, because what he does is he walks behind the desk and he stands there for a second. I was a little bit slower. Um, and I wanted to turn off the, the metal detector uh, for this reason, because if I can walk around the desk, you stay low, um, you can walk all the way around Hope, without even switching cameras, Hope's really smart about getting around obstacles like that. So I, I thought that right there was the best time to uh, steal the game. And it worked out pretty good in my favor. So, nice. next up, we are in the women's commissary area. This is where uh, they eat. And uh, Mark Klink here has a game for us which is the room, um, but right next to Mark, I switch cameras here, you'll see right in the planter next to him, there's a book there, and it's uh, Naked Truth. So what I wanted to do was set up a position where I could get the game and the book because of the way he walks uh, towards the, um, the buffet area over there, um, right near the sneeze guard. But uh, his pattern is this L shape, and uh, he doesn't stare at a wall. He always stares at the wide view of the room. So to wait for a moment when he's got his back to you from where I was, I had to wait till he walks all the way back in his L shape um, before I could go for that steal. So he comes back this way, and uh, after he comes towards me, he'll do a radio check, and then he'll reverse his animation state, and he'll walk back. Nothing to report. Um, I hid right there. That's a good place to stay, um, right behind that little uh, that wall there. Um, Waiting for him to turn. There he goes. Then I went for the for steal. steal. Um, I made a small goof right there, but I still points. made the steal. It got a little scary right there because I didn't know if he was gonna see me. But I went right back and uh, I picked up the book. So there you go. Uh, now moving on to the kitchen, uh, we have uh, William here, and he has Plague Ink for us. But he also does this thing where he goes into that storage locker right over there. See that shining thing is another book. Uh, the book is Leaves of Grass, so what I like to do is wait till he walks in the room and then go for it. That way I can get the steel and the book in the same foul swoop. No sign of the girl. Um, if I did it too early, then I'd have to wait for him to go into the room. If I did it too late, he might turn around on me, so um, I ran back. In the same area, we have Justin Groves here, and he has Kingdom Rush for us. Um, now what you got to do about this is you got to worry about William coming back out on his patrol route. Um, but if you stay behind uh, this prep station here, you should be A-OK. -okay. Um, waiting for him to turn back around to go back into that room. And you'll move from this prep station to the one closer to Justin over there. Right about here is when you make your move. And you can steal from Justin, obviously, when he has his back to you. But you, the right, if you see the left there, nice. there's a, um, a tunnel or um, a small grade area that you can crawl through. Um, but you got to wait till Justin's looking away from you. Because if you go for it too soon, he might catch you when you're trying to get hope to go through that area. So now we go uh, to the demon area. Uh, if you played the game, this is where you get your first uh, upgrade to your, uh, to your systems. So you can do better hacking and things like that. Um, this one's pretty easy. It's right there. It's Animal Farm. It's pretty hard to miss. So right after that, though, we're in the staff commissary now, and we have uh, Jimison here, and he has a game for us, which is Devler's Drop. Now his pattern, um, pretty simple. He ends up turning and looking away from you. I kind of messed up trying to get to him. The moral of the story here is have better cameras than me. Uh, you can always move your camera. This one got really kind of dicey. I thought I was going to get caught there. I got really lucky, though. Um, but do better than I did with the cameras. Now we're at the men's commissary. This is behind the menu. So you go through the whole area, and you see the menu, and then there's a crawl space underneath. Uh, I picked up this taser, 
and then what it is, I picked up the book here, which is Dr. Zivago, um, and that's what that book is. Uh, now we're at the men's washroom. This guy, this guy is really tricky. Uh, Rudy, Rudy Richter here, he's got a game for us, which is Curiosity. Um, but he has a walk pattern where he stands right in front of the doorway, and the very first time I did this, I ran right into him, so you gotta be careful of that. Um, Sounds good. He does that radio check, and he's just staring right at the doorway. If you hide just outside, you're, you're generally pretty safe. Um, always use your cameras, folks. Um, but right when he turns around, he'll go back to the urinal. The guy's got a bladder like an infant, so you're good to go there. Um, and then right after that, you'll see it for just a sec, in the, in the bottom right corner from where the camera is here, you see it right there, is this grate, and the grate leads to this room, which is uh, where Zager was hiding out. Um, in this room, there is uh, the third tape, and uh, this is also, as far as I know, the only place where you can watch the tapes. So, or, sorry, watch the tapes, listen to the tapes. Uh, and then uh, right after that, moving on through the game, we're at the power station now. And this guy in the break room, he's got a game for us, which is uh, Papa Sangre. And uh, pretty simple pattern, you just wait for him to turn away from you. When he's looking away, that's when you go in. And then you make your exit pretty much the same way you came back in. Now moving up the hallway, in the same area of the power station is in the control area. And uh, in this next room, we have uh, the book, which is Brave New World. And you just go around the uh, the desk here, and right there in the back corner, there's the Brave New World. Um, now we're into Power Station Station 3. Now this room has three items. It has uh, the last game, a book Lolita, and tape number 4. Now this guy's walk pattern is pretty simple. It's just He stays behind those boxes, and he doesn't you know circle around the entire box. So it's pretty easy to watch uh, Edwin here, and he, but he seems to be the only guard that also has, that has a book on him so far. So all the other books are out in the wild. This is the only guy that has one on him. His pattern, like I said, is pretty simple. Walks this way, stares down the wall, turns around, does the same thing. So right when he turns around, you want to make the seal on either side of the boxes. But the thing I thought was cool here is after I got the seal, Hope went right to cover without me directing her. So that's a good thing to know if you do a steal. Um, and now you see uh, he walks back the other way, and that's when I went to go grab the tape here on these boxes. Now, um, right after this, there's something that I had forgotten. Um, so we go back to the dorm area right about here. And um, I had forgotten after I uh, earned an upgrade that there's this locked door um, to the left. <clears throat> and you'll see it. Uh, not that one, but that one. So I forgot about that locked door. If you unlock it back in the dorm's lobby, there is the uh, final book there, which is Candide, I think is how you say it. I might be wrong. Um, but this here is where you will locate the very last book. So now we got all games, and this one here, all books complete. Now, again, we're going to go back to the dorms lobby, because this is after you do New Game Plus. If you saw right at the end of that last clip, there's another locked door. Um, when you beat the game, after the credits, you have the ability, you'll see in the menu, there's the uh, the play symbol with a plus after it. Basically, this just lets you go through the game again and pick up anything you might have missed, 100% it. And this is one of the areas you can go to um, after you get the ability of the uh, voice recognition. So this is the matron's uh, quarters. This is where she stays and lives. And in here is where you will find the very final Zager tape. So it's right over there to the right on top of that dresser. Um, I'll get a better view of it in just a second here when I'm over by the bed. So you see you zoom right in. That's where it is. And that is the very last tape in the game. So now we have everything, tapes, games, books. We are missing posters, email, and phone. And I will do a new video with those as soon as I find them all. Um, but before I go, I got one last little surprise, uh, something that I found while I was playing, and I'm really interested in checking it out. So look at this. It looks like somebody's really into the game Shadowrun, and I don't recognize what that other game is, but we need a level 5 to unlock it, so I'm looking forward to finding out who that guy is. Um, but otherwise, thanks for watching, um, and uh, again, like I said, I'll have a new video up soon with the other collectibles.